Yesterday, the Baltimore Ravens got a big boost to the team because Adafe Away has returned after missing the past four weeks due to an ankle injury that took him out. Uh, so having him back out there is nice. And this actually helps the Baltimore Ravens a lot more than people realize because Adafe Away is somebody who's pretty good at helping set the edge. Now, we know that's Jadavian Clowney special, but having two guys that specialize in setting the edge and they can do some pass rush as well, especially how Clowney been balling, that makes life easier for the Baltimore Ravens, who runs up the middle. Hey, they've been taking care of that for the most part, but where the Baltimore Ravens have been struggling at, and y'all know, is when them running backs, they take it to the outside. For Derrick Henry, what I was worried about going into the Titans game in London, I'm like, oh, Derrick Henry, physical running back. Uh, he a tough running back, and then runs up the gut. Oh, that's him all day. But Ravens were doing a good job stopping that. But where they struggled at, Derrick Henry said, oh, you know what? Ah, this ain't working. Let me take it to the outside. Uh, so, And that's where he got the, the most chunk of his yards. Remember with Zach Moss a couple weeks ago against the Colts? Up the middle, oh, no, nothing. But it was to the outside where he was eating. He was feasting all day. And the Ravens have struggled with that a lot uh, this season. So having Adafi away back, when he does officially come back and get back, then – that should make a huge improvement to the Baltimore Ravens and them really setting that edge. Another way that this helps a lot, uh, Jadavian Clowney, he has been doing an amazing job this year. He has been a huge just factor for the Baltimore Ravens and their pass rush. Uh, and now he's starting to close a lot more, finish on some of those sacks a lot more. So that should be a beautiful thing as long as he continues that. But with one thing that I've continued to see with Jadavian Clowney, I don't know if y'all see it too. Uh, he'll be out there on the field. And he'll be out there on the field some more. And he'll be out on the field some more. And hey, I love it. I love that he's out there a lot. But I see them hands on his hips. I see his head tilted back a little bit. I see the dreads hanging a little bit. And, and he just looks dog tired, man. He looks like he is exhausted. But he lines up, put his hand in the dirt, lines up for another snap. And he does it over and over and over again. His number... The number 24, initially I thought it was ugly, and I still do think it's ugly, but hey, he's balling, so you wear whatever number you want. But his number represents how much he's out there on the field because Jadavian Clowney is out there 24 7. Uh, so now, with Jadavian Clowney, with Calvin Oy, hey, who, who has been a wonderful addition too, you get Adafi way back. That allows you, that allows him to spell some of those guys. So then they could take a little rest. They could be more refreshed. And not that you just want to have this crazy rotation where, all right, you get in now, you get out. Now you get in now, you get out. Now you get in now, you get out. Because I think that was the problem. Yannick Ngakwe talked about it. That was the problem with Wink's defense. He said guys would be rotating too much, so you couldn't really get a feel uh, for the offensive linemen and what was working against them, what you could beat them with and whatnot, what moves you could make, whether you're going to do a bull rush, whether you're going to do the swim moves or whatnot. You, you could not get a feel for that consistently it was messing up your rhythm so i'm not saying that guys should be in and out in and out in and out but this does allow guys because you, you'll see it sometimes these players will be tired and, and they'll point to the sideline and be like come here come here so this will allow Jadavian Clowney to be that much more fresher and that much more rested. This will be, allow Kyle Vinoy to be that much more fresher and that much more rested uh and then with a Dafe away it, this can help him out too same thing uh, another way that this helps is at pass rush. So this gives you another pass rusher. Now we know that with Adafi Away. Adafi Away, see, he reminds me of Jadavian Clowney. Uh, because with Jadavian Clowney, uh, that's why a lot of people, they didn't like Clowney. Because they're like, oh man, as a pass rusher, he's so, so. Uh, set in the edge and run defense, that was his big, those were his biggest specialties. But as a pass rusher, uh, he's so, so. But this year, Jadavian Clowney has been rejuvenated. He's found new life with the Baltimore Ravens. And we love, y'all know we love it. Y'all already know what time it is. But with Adolfo Away, that's been the case with him. Because he struggled with the same things that Jadavian Clowney struggled with two and that was just closing that was finishing the job Adafi away has been a player for years that has come close he always comes super close but just doesn't quite finish and he'll be right there so with Adafi away I think for him to really take that next step is just by finishing now uh, how can he get better as a finisher well he got to be out there because you know if, he, if he's injured he can't get better. So now with him coming back, he can be out there and he can learn a thing or three or 24 from Jadavian Clowney. Jadavian Clowney can help Adafi Away take his game.
to the next level. Because we see Jadavian Clowney, he's taking his game to the next level. And maybe it's Dr. Rush. Hey, who, who knows what it is? It could be a plethora of things. But whatever it is or whatever those things are, for the reason that Jadavian Clowney has stepped it up that much more, we love it. So now it's time for Adafi Away to step it up that much more. Uh, so he can put pressure because we want to see him put pressure, max pressure on the Baltimore Ravens and really make them be like, oh, you know what? No, we got to pick up that fifth year option. We have no choice. It's something that is mandatory for us to do. That's what we would love to. The, we would love that to be the conversation at the end of this year with Adafi Away. So we'll see what happens with that. Now, um, the practice report uh, for Wednesday's practice, Adafi Away, he did return. Uh, he was limited, but he returned, so that's a good start for him to be back out there just getting in the flow of things. We wouldn't expect him to be a full go as first practice, so we'll see what happens later on today. Uh, but Malik Harrison, he was limited, and John Harbaugh did say he had uh, the, the Guardians cap on because he was in concussion protocol, but he said that Malik Harrison, he should be fine. So that's nothing to worry about. Now, timing is everything because Jadavian Clowney, he was out there, but he didn't practice. And they said it was a rest day for his knee. So this is why Adafi Away, another reason why he gives the Baltimore Ravens a big boost because this allows Jadavian Clowney, like we talked about earlier, we were just talking about him just being exhausted early, him just being tired early. So Adafi Away can come in and sort of give him a break. But now this also helps with that, helps allow Jadavian Clowney's body to rest so he ain't got to be the only one out there going hard 24-7. Now, Adafi Awe can come in and give him, a, give him a little break and whatnot. And, and again, you still got other guys too, but the more the merrier and the more quality depth the merrier. And that's been a thing with the Baltimore Ravens going into this season. Uh, quality depth was the name of the game. Now, that depth has certainly been tested in a lot of different areas, uh, but the Ravens, for the most part, they've been holding it down. Now, one place where the quality depth has certainly been tested has been at the safety position. And something that's very interesting that um, I, I, I really didn't think about. And I was talking to my guy the other day and the safety position. Safety position is certainly the depth has been tested there. We know Marcus Williams, he got banged up. We know Daryl Worley, he got banged up. It, it has just been rough there. And Ravens had to sign uh, this guy, Adrian Adams. They brought back DeAndre uh, Houston Carson. Uh, they had signed um, Deron Harmon for a quick minute, and then the Bears signed him off the Ravens practice squad. So the Ravens been going through this rotation as safety. Did I mention Daryl Worley? I think I did. But anyway, um, Geno Stone, we know what Geno Stone, uh, when Marcus Williams went out, Geno Stone stepped in, and he certainly stepped up. Uh, and then with Marcus Williams, John Harbaugh was like, he got to make a decision. Whether he's going to do rehab, whether he's going to do surgery. But when I was talking to my guy, he was like, you, you, you know what? You realize why Marcus Williams probably did that rehab, right? Because of why he tried to rush back to get out there. One arm and all. One arm and all. He out there making plays with that one arm because – he, he was watching. He's watching the same thing we watching. He see Geno Stone out there balling. He said, hold up. No, hold up, buddy. I got to get out there, man. And he came back a lot earlier probably than he should have. But, hey, it's all good. I, I respect it because it's the name of the game. It's business. It's business. It's competition. you like, hold up. Hey, this dude that's in my spot right now, he look pretty good. So that will give you an extra boost to get up out of bed. Like, no, no, I, I got to get back out on that field. Uh, but another thing that I was talking to my guy about, too, um, he brought out a good point about this, this upcoming Lions game with the run game specifically. Now, this is a type of game, like, y'all know as Baltimore Ravens fans, Ravens, they do a lot of weird stuff, man. They do a lot of unexpected stuff. This could be a game where the Ravens, they going into this game, this 5-1 and one Detroit Lions team, Ravens can end up blowing them out of the water. They, they really could. Y'all know how this stuff goes. Ravens will struggle with this team. They'll struggle with the team that's doing bad. Then with this team that's rolling, that's coming in hot, Ravens will blow them out. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully that does happen. But my guy was talking to me about the, the running game uh, with Gus Edwards and Justice Hill. So with those guys, hopefully they do their thing in the first half. But where the, uh, the Baltimore Ravens could catch the Lions slipping is if they do actually insert Keaton Mitchell uh, in the game plan, but they do it sort of in the second half. Now, with that, if they were to do that, then that could throw the Lions completely off because they wouldn't be expect expecting it. Excuse me. I didn't even have breakfast yet. But they wouldn't even be expecting it because and they wouldn't have any film on it. So that could completely throw the Lions off of their game plan. 
But anyway, we'll, we'll see what the Baltimore Ravens do. Because, again, John Harbaugh has talked about Keaton Mitchell. He said, yeah, 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 maybe the monkey will you know, use him on offense or here and there and whatnot. So we'll see how that goes. But team, keep it clear. Hey, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you do not miss not one single Baltimore Ravens update. All the Team Keep It Clean patrons, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for showing extra love to the channel. If any of y'all would like to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, uh, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenvids. Uh, and if you don't, that's fine too. I still love you. I still rock with y'all. If any of y'all would like to become a Team Keep It Clean channel member, you can click the join button right next to the name of the channel on youtube but i i love y'all so much i appreciate y'all so much thank you for rocking with the channel thank you for always showing respect to each other thank you for making this most importantly thank you for making this so much fun every single day i love y'all y'all stay up y'all keep being great amazing people be the great amazing people that y'all are Y'all have a great day, a great afternoon, a great night. Whenever you're watching this, everything needs to be great for you. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you soon.